morning. How are y'all, my friends, doing? <laughs> I'm all broke out on my chin. Seems like you'd grow out of that eventually, but not me. I have such imperfect skin. <laughs> I can't believe I'm starting my video this way, but that was on my mind. Yeah, imperfect skin. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think my friends, my true friends, and those with the eyes to see, look past what we physically look like and can see and can see right through to our heart don't they uh, that's what i i try to do um let's see what i want to talk to y'all about today well first i hope y'all are doing good um i'm really excited about the multi-seller event I haven't talked too much about it the lineup is complete and I'll tell y'all who it's going to be. It's going to be Strong Mind Jewelry Lover, Sharon. It's going to be Reinventing Rachel, Real Life Maria, and Just to Serve Landine. That's four. I might come in and show five items. But mainly, I'm going to moderate and watch the bids and play auctioneer. I've got to play auctioneer. I don't want to be annoying, though. Um, some people like the thrill of auction and the calling it and the excitement of it and everything. Um, but some people, that might be annoying. I don't know, you know. But it is an auction. I say my channel is more like sales, a sales channel than an auction. Of course, I don't mind bidding. It's more profitable when people, more than one person, desires an item, you know. And uh, so I appreciate those terms too. But either way, that's what I'm going to try to do for the girls. And uh, I'm excited about it. It'll be fun. Y'all, in the description of this video is the link to the upcoming event. Please set your reminder. Come join us. I would love to have like my record of people in chat i think the highest my chats ever got to is like 34 or 36 people in the chat i would love to have it more and hopefully these sellers will invite their subscribers and we'll just have a great big party we are going to do giveaways we're going to be dressed in christmas attire and um, it's going to be a large variety of items i've purchased from every one of these sellers and some of them you may know even better than I do. But I feel comfortable having all four of them. So that is next Wednesday, December 15th, starting at 6 p.m. until. So hopefully you can swing by and see us. Please let me know in the chat if you plan to come. Will you please leave a comment and let me know? <laughs> Alright, so y'all, the Christmas gifts keep coming to me. And... It's just like a cherry on top. It's like the cherry on top. Like, you know, I, I, I'm already, I'm blessed enough just to be upright, able to work. Uh, my husband has eyesight in one eye where I used to be blind. Uh, my children are healthy. I mean, I'm so blessed. Roof over my head, you know. I have friends to start with. But <laughs> these Merry Christmas gifts. So, Mrs. D... Um, has several items coming towards me, and I got one. It's a UV flashlight. I think she picked out gifts to help me in my business. So this is so we can see the glow of the amber that you might be purchasing. So I'm moving on up. I'm thinking about Sanford and Sons. Moving on up. Does it say to the sky? I can't remember. Um, so I got that. Um, I got this beautiful Christmas Angel Bell Linux from Miss K. And you know, when someone sends you something and they don't have a lot, they're going through a season of life where they don't have a lot and they spend their money to, to send you a gift. That is very special, y'all. That's very special to me. She gave out of what she did not have. I've heard that story before. So thank you so much, Mrs. K. Now, Mrs. C, let's just go ahead and call her Mrs. Claus. I kindly told y'all 
I was going to be gifted some jewelry. Now, this is the second time this has happened to me. Doug, with uh, Vintage Boutique, gifted me some a while back, and I shared the wealth with y'all. Um, did, you know, like $5 deals on beautiful costume jewelry that Doug had sent. Um, well, the same here. I'm going to pass along the wealth. I'm going to do some really nice starts on some of this gorgeous jewelry. Actually, I pulled out right here. Let's see if you could see. To show you some of it. We've got some beautiful sterling silver, natural stone, probably a lab-created opals in here. And, y'all, honestly, some of these rings and this jewelry here might be some of the most beautiful I've had. Look at this beautiful mother of pearl bangle. That's so pretty. Um, these are just a few. Actually, so there was so much jewelry. And Mrs. Claus makes jewelry, y'all. Oh, <laughs> look like I got a toupee on. Makes jewelry. And it's gorgeous, beautiful. And as I was sitting here looking through this jewelry that was gifted to me, I got it yesterday. And saw the things she had made. It just clicked with me, and I, I started to get this new appreciation for jewelry that I hadn't had before. Sorry about that noise. That it is art. It's art in metal. It's art with natural stone. It's art with glass. And wow, what materials to work with, you know? I um, am more familiar with art, such as drawings and paintings and... I love like sewing, uh, mixed fabrics, uh, collages, things like that. But this is truly art with just a different substance. And I, I was just blown away by it. It just sort of struck me. And then I started thinking about all the jewelry that's signed with different names. And, you know, I have so much to learn, but I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying learning along with you, sharing with you, and uh, so see this uh, beautiful black, like crushed velvet bag here, right here. This was chopped full of sterling silver, y'all, all individually wrapped. I'm just sitting out here in my flannel. And we'll see if I can turn it to where you can say, yeah, this is just chocked full of beautiful sterling silver, a Swarovski, uh, all kinds of, this is a sterling silver there. See that beautiful pink flower there? Um, just gorgeous things. This is, says, Spinel and Quartz. She has made this. Vintage class. And I just, what a generous gift, y'all. I mean, those are some beautiful sterling and Marcusite earrings. So, yeah, that was just packed full. Well, I've already enjoyed some of this. She told me I could keep, sell whatever I wanted to do. And I had to make sure she was sure about that. But my mom collects sea glass. Off the coast of Maine, everywhere she visits, really, she looks and clicks for the sea glass. And I can't remember what color is more hard or rare to find than others. Look at this cute little homemade uh, jewelry bag. Isn't that so cute? I thought, wow, I can make that. But anyway, let me set this over here. So, yeah, I put it in this bag, y'all, but it's just so much. It was more than that, that uh, purse. Um... Yes, yeah, she collects the sea glass. Well, Mrs. Claus had made a beautiful sea glass bracelet. And I think it had crystals in it or Swarovski. I can't remember. And I'm going to gift that to my mom. I hope she don't watch this video. And then I have a friend whose sister is in stage four cancer. I can't quite remember exactly which kind it is. And it's my good friend. Um, her sister lives in another state, Flint, Michigan, and she goes and visits her, but it's painful. It's terrible to watch, and, you know, she's in the pools of 
do I continue chemo or do I don't because it's so sick for her. But anyway, I found a little ring that says faith, hope, courage, um, and it has the cancer awareness ribbon on it. And I'm going to gift that to my friend for Christmas in honor of her sister. Maybe she'll want to send it to her sister. I don't know. And then even the most fun thing, y'all got to do something with this hair, is I got to go upstairs with my daughter into her space, her territory. She's 16, y'all. My last child, and I'll be an empty nester. And my only girl, Morgan. Y'all have heard me talk about her. I love all my children. Very special, right? But this is my only girl. And she has just in the past year got started getting into jewelry. Maybe because, you know, I'm selling it and looking at it and we have it. But um, she used to love dainty jewelry, but she's getting a little braver and wearing a little bit more chunkier. But I got to go up there and sit on her bed and enjoy time with her and let her look through. And she picked her out a sterling and garnet ring. Um, she's got good taste. Um, actually, in her ears, she can only wear sterling or gold. But anyway, that was such a blessing to be able to do. And she enjoyed that thoroughly. And it just, you know, more time I could sit and spend with her. Because these years are passing quickly, you know. She's college bound. Um, she's an above honor student, and uh, I'll have a couple more years before she leaves home. And so that was just a great connection. The jewelry has been a great connection between me and her, you know, because we both enjoy it. So I got to do that, and uh, so I'm thankful, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um. So, let's see. All right, y'all. I'm trying to get my Christmas up and my package is wrapped, as you saw on the stream yesterday, so I can be ready for sale on Saturday. I hope y'all will come see me. Of course, it's variety. And um, I hope to have a good sale, a fun sale. And as always, I hope to have a relaxing and fun peaceful atmosphere for y'all to come and enjoy yourself whether you purchase or not and uh let's see yeah because i then i'll be getting to the packaging and i'll try and get that out the past two times y'all i've got all my packages out by tuesday monday and tuesday packaging uh, of course it wasn't as many as i've seen it be but i still did get it out two days so you know I was felt very accomplished for that. So thank y'all all for your wonderful, encouraging emails. Um, I hope this wasn't a boring video. Um, is there anything else I could talk about? I don't know, y'all. Let's just keep trying to practice being kind to one another. It's very powerful. It changes lives. One kind act can change a life. It can make or break somebody. You know what? And um, that's what I'm aiming for. My lips are so dry. I'm sorry if that's unsightly. I've got chapstick gathered up on them. <laughs> I used too much. But yeah. Um, aim for the love and the kindness. Have you ever heard? I'm going to end with this. You ever heard the saying, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll only land amongst the stars. Well, it's kind of like shoot for love and kindness. If you miss, you'll only land, let's just say, on good things. Because basically the way I see it, if that can be your goal, the love and kindness, everything else you want to be and accomplish is going to fall into place. You want to be a good wife. You want to be a good mom. You want to be a good friend. You want to be a successful employee um, or business owner that has integrity and um, morals and good customer service, whatever. Well, if your goal is love and kindness, all those things are going to fall into place. You see what I mean? So that is even the higher goal. And I really truly believe in it. Not in some mushy, uh, cliche type of way, y'all. It's real. It's tangible. It's alive. And you are capable of acting 
out of that. I am capable of improving, of forgiving ourselves when we miss the mark. Forgiving ourselves. Sorry about that noise. I have these big trucks come by quite often, y'all. Um, but yeah, every day. Every day we just try and try again, you know. So I love y'all. Thank you for listening. Um, please let me know if you listened all the way through. If you did, actually, let's just put Mrs. Claus. <laughs> okay, won't nobody know what we're talking about. And I hope to see y'all Saturday. We'll hang out. Y'all let me know how you're doing. Or let me know in the chat chat here. Okay? Don't forget, set your reminder for the sale coming up next week. Okay? I'm going to have it in the description. And would you give me a thumbs up if that's not too much to ask? All right. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow night on Saturday. <laughs> Bye-bye.